Lord Sanit Kumara and Michael, Operation Apocalypse, Transition. May 11, 2016, by Christine Preston. Christine. This morning I have experienced a communication with Sanat Kumara of the Sun Behind the Sun, when I reached my I Am Presence for the Tube of Light, the moment I woke up. He said, I can hear you my daughter. I have to inform you that you are on track with your plan of ascension. All the plans of ascension which are my greatest desires are being fulfilled. You are one of those who volunteered to carry out a mission. As a baby soul we let you go. Christine. I knew what Sanat Kumar meant. His few sentences were accompanied with a series of thought transmissions, ideas, without words, which I aimed to record as soon as the communication ended. I took a pen and paper and expected my ascended twin flame, Andre, to dictate, but I received what I think Astra Command calls waves of tally thought transmissions from Archangel Michael, one after the other, because we had practiced this form of communication a few times before. This was not an actual dictation word for word as I already knew what had been communicated. They were as follows. The mention of baby soul was a reference to the idea that at one time, some 25,000 years ago, we were young angelic souls who volunteered for the mission of ascension to raise Earth as it was the divine plan, and it already was known that it was Earth's destiny to play a key role in the ascension that would raise the level of physicality to a higher dimension after having been lowered to the third dimension. This role was in relation to the great battle between the light and the dark. It also is a battle in the psyche because of the need to disentangle the incarnated soul extensions from the shackles of their own creation as well as a battle against the attacks and interferences of dark fallen beings, those that reside upon the astral realm and operate from there, using their agents and pawns who dwell upon the physical plane of physicality. So, we, as young souls, or babies in Sanat Kumara's eyes, came as the 144,000 because of our love to serve. The mission also offered the potential of a tremendous acceleration for our own growth. Already existing in etheric bodies upon the planet Venus, we descended as twin soul extensions of our own higher selves. We descended upon the land of Lemuria, each possessing an umbilical cord to our own higher self, but also as twin flames in a unity of being that was departed from an incarnation. Then came the era of the Atlantean decline. After its awful cataclysms and destruction, we continued working and fulfilling the projects of the spiritual hierarchy of the solar system by operating like boots on the ground in incarnation. When mankind was locked into the third dimension, the soul extensions that we are could not fully descend into the abyss, where the physical world now existed. The spectrum of consciousness was reduced, hence, it was necessary for incarnation to take place into physicality split up from our Christ celestial self. In other words we have a celestial counterpart that remained in heaven while we are incarnated. However, that celestial counterpart is the real us. We are this soul extension and operate in etheric, mental, astral, and physical vehicles. These correspond to the four elements, fire, air, water, and earth. The separated being in the lower dimension became the persona, or lower self. However, in the secret chamber of the heart chakra this persona, or human being, has the threefold flame that is the connection with the I am presence. The celestial counterpart that remained in heaven is an etheric being of great light and it has been said that with the process of the ascension we will be recovering full memory of our identity. However, an awakening has to take place for many before this can happen, because the human self needs to integrate the qualities of Christ consciousness which it has lost on its long journey of incarnations into the matter world. We are in transition. The Christ self that is descending is a blueprint that the human self should mirror. We are being transformed, and are being risen in consciousness. The celestial counterparts that we are, are descending. We are transforming our reality and creating a new kingdom, a new Gaia. We are changing the world and its erroneous systems. We are freeing it. That is the mission. Upon this path of ascension there also are stages of spiritual attainment or initiations. Upon the path of initiation, as Christ consciousness is being integrated, the higher self also descends and takes control of the persona and the ego. After a night's sleep you wake up and can have forgotten what you experienced out of the body. But when you are restored and transfigured, 
when the reconstruction of your DNA is completed, you will know who you are. From the point of view of the celestial counterpart the separation with the incarnated being is comparable to a bilocation. When the body deactivates as it falls asleep, the celestial soul debilocate, so to speak. Some dreams are symbolic representations of the life the soul is experiencing upon the higher dimension of being. However, there is a kind of dream that is synthetic and artificially inserted into the minds of people when they are asleep. This has been done by dark forces residing upon the astral plane with the use of technology. The dream is comparable to a film prepared in advance that is inserted during sleep. This insertion is an attack. However, this practice has now recently been prevented because the souls of light have been raised to a level at which they cannot be reached by those forces of darkness. In physicality we exist in a third dimensional world. The fourth dimension that scientists have identified as time is the astral world. However, a great many souls are now anchored upon the fifth dimension by their purity of heart, their concepts, and viewpoints. Their reality can be said to be that of the fifth dimension. This relates to spirituality and spiritual attainment such as the integration of Christ consciousness or righteousness. The level of integration of the higher mind propulses you up the ladder of the dimensions, well above the fifth dimension of your reality, even if only for fleeting moments. The higher self is also manifesting through the soul extension in incarnation, and this represents the opening of the way to a myriad of wonderful experiences for the soul, as it enters into communion with the higher being that it is part of. The Ascended Masters have provided a spiritual tool to accelerate these integrations and all that is required is to be willing to surrender, to permit the Archangels and Ascended Masters to work on you and transform you. All you have to do is to work on the relationship, raise your thoughts to your I Am Presence, visualize the tube of light and violet flame. Virtues reflecting the etheric blueprint will then appear. You will be freed from the hurts of the past which are said to be surfacing today. The violet flame erases all negative emotions as well as their causes and cores. What you have done and what has been done to you will be forgiven. This is why Saint Germain is the hierarch of the Aquarian Age and Seventh Ray. Freedom is appearing on Earth as a result of the great work that is being carried out. The lower astral level has been dismantled. Many dark entities have been removed. The astral level governs the emotions and it is being cleaned up and the battle of the Armageddon of the Psyche continues. The Illuminati, or dark powers, those that have been enslaving the nations, still stand, but like wounded beasts, cornered, with no escape. They are bewildered but still full of the illusion that they can oppose the forces of the light. They are retaliating, so this is a time to call for protection and for intervention. However, you have been given the announcement by Archangel Michael that the Mafia that was galactic has been abolished. This is in relation to the reptilian agenda. Please refer to Archangel Michael's message entitled The Prophecy to appreciate the enormity of the operation, that the Galactic Federation of Light has been involved with for a period of 25 million years. Understand the enormity of the victory when it has been announced that this Mafia has been abolished. The great prophecy that Archangel Michael gave in primordial times is very close to fulfillment. Lord Sanat Kumara has also given a warning to the Dark Ones who are pulling the strings in the governments of the nations from their astral domain. He has warned them that from this day on any attempt to interfere with, or cause harm to the souls of the Great Central Sun, will bring upon them their judgment. They will be taken to the courts of Saturn where judgment will be pronounced. If they are not fit to be granted to continue evolving upon the lower dimensions of another world, they will be reprocessed in the sacred fires of the great central sun at the center of this galaxy. The second death is a term for the process of undergoing the second death, and this is to do with the death of the soul. Lord Sanat Kumara has also stated that he will move the shift of our actual physicality to the fifth dimension to an earlier date than previously planned. In other words, he will make it happen sooner. This will occur as a quantum leap after a period of transition in which we will have created new conditions, new Gaia, and received new technologies. The event that we are told is coming soon is in relation to a financial reset that will take place before this period of transition starts. We will be freed from the slavery of the financial system of the Dark Overlords and their establishment, which will be the Old World Order by then. 
the inhabitants of the earth have been lifted up in their perception and reality, because the solar system is passing through a most concentered part of the photonic belt and through electromagnetic fields of light. Their ascent occurred in waves on September 28, 2015 and March 20, 2016. A third ascent will take place at the end of this year for the souls of light bearers who are being prepared and motivated by various sources, as well as astrological configurations. In a previous message it was also announced that a removal of dark interfering forces would take place this summer. Furthermore, we are looking forward to a shift to fourth density at the end of this year as announced by Adronis of Sirius through Brad Johnson. This means that whereas you presently are physically in 3D, you will all be experiencing a shift to a higher level of physicality which is where the astral level used to be. Therefore, the part of your lower dimensional self that is presently an astral vehicle will be raised up to the next level. Each of your four lower bodies, or dimensional vehicles will be raised up a level. God has a plan and it is being manifested, so have faith, as this is the end time, when evil has to come to an end and heaven has to be manifested upon earth. A dictation from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael. Greetings children of the sun. This was a message by Thought Transmission, and I have continuously provided thought waves for it from beginning to end. With regards to the video entitled Prophecy Regarding the Elections, it has caused some bewilderment. However, some people were already given such a prophecy many years ago. The prophesied election of Donald Trump is in relation to the need to oppose the establishment and large corporations. If some people see a division occurring, remember that you are now living in the predicted time of great tribulations called the Apocalypse. It is associated with cataclysms and there are many. However, this term of Greek etymology alludes to a veil falling off from something that is hidden. You will therefore be glad to learn that this is about a time of disclosure when the truths that have been suppressed are brought out into the open for the people of the American nation as well as the whole world. This process will lead to changes, peace, and the period of transition during which everything will be rebuilt, and the great collective of mankind will be receiving a teaching, as well as given access to the science of the Ascended Masters and their galactic family. Dear ones, if you feel you are among those who experience the division and tribulation, or you think you see it taking place, do not seek answers in the external world, as they are found in the inner self. If you experience a doubt about channeled messages, no proof can be provided for the time being, but turn to your own inner teacher, in that communion with the Spirit, with your higher self, or your I Am Presence. Develop the relationship which is spiritual and the goal of the path of ascension. Seek the answers from the world within, and as you seek, there takes place an activation at the level of your DNA. The field is intensified and the spectrum of your consciousness is enlarged as it used to be before the Atlantean decline. You build the Antakarana, the connection with your own real identity. There will be a time when you will all have developed the telepathic ability for thought transmission, and will be receiving instruction from your own higher selves, or the beings commissioned to function as your mentors and guardians. You will be at peace and there will be no room for skepticism. Keep surrendering and aligning your desires with those of the divine will, even if you do not know what they are. It is a safer method than using the intellectual abilities in trying to assess what is right and what is wrong. The devotion of a pure heart is greater than the intellect. You do not know to what extent the Illuminati have been demonic. You do not know what strategies the forces of the light have had to use in order to bring about the liberation of mankind from its captivity at the hands of the powers that have controlled it for thousands of years. We operate in ways that would mystify you. We, the Archangels in our many legions, have fought a long battle. We have closed in upon the vortex of evil in space and abolished the reptilian mafia. Now you are living the last days when the power is taken from those that are causing the scenarios on the political scene of the world. They have gradually been denied more and more action. They have been prevented from exterminating you in a nuclear war. They are still attempting to enslave you with a cunning modus operandi and despicable strategies of darkness. Do turn to your spirit within at this time, pray, allocate some small amount of time to practice an attunement and call for the protection of the light in all the forms that you know, or have been taught, and in case of disasters, 
call for more dispensations and help from the archangels and masters that we are, as you then give us more authority to intervene. This was a message from Archangel Michael. Dear ones, we are brotherhood, we are family. I seal you in the radiance of my blue flame protection, individually and collectively. Christine. Thank you for this message, Archangel Michael. Thank you Lord Sanat Kumara.